Good Monday evening to you. Richard Scott here with the forecast update. A couple dry days to go through then. A lot of rain coming in on Thursday with cooler temperatures also going to be around. Hey, it was cold this morning, this Monday morning. Coldest morning so far this fall season. 32 in Jasper. 31 Haydenville, 33 in Coleman. A Birmingham at 40 this morning. Tuscaloosa at 38. And this evening, as of about 9.50 on this Monday night, temperatures in the 50s in Tuscaloosa, Birmingham South. 40s, though, up in Coleman, Haydenville, and Jasper. A bit cooler up that way. Tomorrow morning, we'll all start off in the 40s. Mid to upper 40s, likely. I do expect uh, partly cloudy sky for our Tuesday. We'll have some high thin cirrus coming across here, and that could filter some of that sunshine. Temperatures by lunchtime 68, 3 o'clock 73. And really across national scene, beginning to modify a bit. The trough that brought the cooler air uh, late in the weekend is moving on. And another surge of cooler air beginning to come down the northern plains, and that will be here on Thursday and Friday. Across the national scene with the radar and satellite, we've got quite a bit of rain developing over Texas, Louisiana, a lot of rain down in the Gulf, and this is all energy and upper-level moisture coming in from the Hurricane Willa down in the eastern Pacific. Uh, that will move into Mexico uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night. So here we go over to local satellite and radar. Again, high-level cirrus clouds. That's that upper-level moisture being sheared off from that hurricane way to our southwest. But again, the high-level moisture can extend long ahead of these systems. Uh, but it will help bring some rain. I'll show you that here in a second. Here's a forecast model again tonight. I'll dry. Again, the cirrus will be overhead, but that's about it. Uh, tomorrow night, no problems. Wednesday, all dry with that partly sunny sky for a Wednesday as well. All right, the tropics. Now, nothing happened in the Atlantic, but this is Hurricane Willa, and this is a Category 4 storm winds of 145 in the eastern Pacific. See the Baja of California there. This is going to move into Mexico sometime tomorrow or tomorrow night, and you see all the cloud cover house being sheared off to the northeast well ahead of that thing. Uh, so it's interesting to note how far this moisture can extend past this hurricane, but again, this is not going to be a hurricane that will hit us but energy from it will help spark the development of a new surface low in the northern gulf on wednesday here we go forecast model Wednesday into uh, Thursday morning. Big batch of rain coming in by Thursday morning. There's a surface low near New Orleans. This is not a tropical low at this point. It's just basically a wave of low pressure with quite a bit of rainfall with that. But again, this is part of the same energy from Willow, which at that point was a storm back at the Pacific moving into Mexico, basically falling apart over the mountains of Mexico, and just some of the energy left over from that system bringing some rain to Alabama on Thursday. Thursday's going to be a wet day and a cool day. I think even Friday morning, still some lingering rain uh, by the afternoon. Most of that should be gone, and as we go into the weekend, we'll begin to dry out just a bit. Uh, here we go for tonight to get upper 40s on average, some spots north of I-20 cooler. 73 tomorrow. We'll call it partly cloudy to mostly sunny. Those high thin cirrus will filter some of that sunshine tomorrow and on Wednesday. Thursday, a big time soaker expected. Temperatures will be quite cool. We'll struggle to reach 60 on Thursday. We could even stay in the 50s all day on Friday. Yeah, Saturday looking pretty good, but Sunday another surge of cooler air coming in.